Hey everyone, if you have a Bible, open with me to Jeremiah chapter 6. I want to share with you one of my favorite uh, passages. Really, it's just a verse in all of Scripture. Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16, reads this way. This is what the Lord says. Stand at the crossroads and look. Ask for the ancient paths. Ask where the good way is and walk in it, and you will find rest for your souls. I want to walk through this verse very briefly and do it by looking at a couple of the big words that appear in this verse. The first one is crossroads, okay, which to me implies that there is a way that we can walk and that there are always multiple options, different ways that we can go. Stand at the crossroads is how the verse begins. Then the next thing that stands out to me is, is ancient paths. There are, again, multiple ways that we can go, but there is one way that ties us in that is deeply connected to big truths about the universe, ancient truths about the world that we live in. There is an ancient path. And so then we're invited to ask, right? Ask for that path. Ask where the good way is. This also reminds us of the importance of questions, the importance of seeking, the importance of process, this truth that we are not done yet. It says it two times. Ask, then walk. Okay, this path is not just there for us to look at, but this ancient path, this good way is meant to be walked, both to be chosen, but then also to be experienced. Two more things. At the end, there's this promise of rest. You will find rest, and not just like a good night of sleep, although that might be part of it, but you will find rest for your soul. This is that deep assurance, that confidence, these New Testament words of hope and faith, right? Soul rest, this deep trust that everything is going to be okay. And then the last word is this word, look, right? Look. This is what I, I want to invite us to do as a community this week. We're doing something a little bit differently. We have Church in the Park coming up on Sunday. And, and so our digital gathering rhythm is different. We're also at this point uh, in, in just the year, where, right, where we've transitioned into summer, a whole new season, both literally and metaphorically. And for many of us, this is a great opportunity to just pause, to, to uh, take a deep breath, and, and to look around to assess, take some inventory of where we are. A lot of us have been going really hard now for the last couple of months, right? It's been three months now of living in this pandemic COVID-19 era, and a lot of us are tired. And there's a lot going on because of all of this underneath the surface. Whether it's, again, a pandemic or unrest in our country or just all the other big questions, even the personal stuff, the, the personal tragedies or challenges that you may be facing. There's a lot going on right now. And this week, I think, is an invitation, an opportunity to slow down and to take a look around. The etymology of the word inventory is interesting. One, one uh, sort of root is uh, very much connected to the idea of discovery. And then the other part of it is, is then naming what is found. So you discover something and then you, you, you sort of name what that thing is. And that's what we're going to do for the next couple of days. I'm going to just uh, introduce us to a couple of critical questions that allow us to pause, to take a look around, to discover what's there, and then to name those things. Again, there's been a lot going on. It's time to bring some of that stuff to the surface and hopefully bring it before God and allow him to hold that for us, take it for us, transform it for us so that he can use it for whatever good purpose he has in mind. Stand at the crossroads and look. Ask for the ancient paths. Ask where the good way is and walk in it, and you will find rest for your souls. My friends, may you know and find this soul rest as we move into the summer together. Grace and peace.